I've waited for you a long time. Welcome to my home, Outlander. Jedi Master Satil Shan. When Valkorion told me to finish my training, he met with you? You're asking the wrong person. Yes, I'm going to offer a meal. Stop rushing me. You survived an ordeal. Come. Sit. There's food. I was brought here against my will. People are counting on me for help. I have to go. People are always counting on you. They won't stop just because you aren't there. Many things changed while you slept in Carbonite. I led the fight to save the Republic from Zakul. Nothing prepared me to face that enemy. I failed. Again. And again. This camp isn't new. You've been on Odessan for a while. When the Republic surrendered to Arkan, I gave myself to the will of the Force. I left the Core Worlds and found this planet. We've been here for years, waiting. We? Is there someone else here? In the Force, we are never alone. We sensed your awakening on Zakur. Felt the presence of our old enemy guiding you. We witnessed the victories and defeats leading you here. When we found you in that clearing, we faced a choice. Bring you here. Or end you there. And that's a little dark for a Jedi. I assume your training stopped you from killing me. We felt something we'd lost for a long time. Hope. Valkorion strengthened your bond to the Force. You may be the greatest of us all. But your old training couldn't prepare you for what's to come. You have much to learn. Follow us. Seek the answers throughout the valley. You will know when you find them. On Odessan, light and dark exist in perfect balance, forming a nexus in the Force. There is another world like it. Zakul. Arkan and his knights learned to use the Force in a different way from Jedi and Sith. It's why we couldn't truly defeat them. What makes Arkan and his followers so different from Jedi or Sith? Jedi approach the Force as a companion, and Sith try to enslave it. But Arkan's knights believe the Force is their reward for serving an ideal. They swear their lives to the Eternal Emperor. The more they honor his commandments, the greater their power. The Knights obey their master without question, sacrificing everything for his triumph. Devotion makes them strong. You must become stronger. Master Satil, that goes against everything you ever taught me. It's the kind of thing Valkorion would say. We are nothing like that man. Darth Mar. Valkorion destroyed my flesh. But not my reason for being. Is defeating your old master so important that you refuse to die? I have no use for vengeance. My goal remains the same. Defend the Empire. After my defeat, I sought an ally to make things right again. But only one in all the galaxy was my equal. We met on this world. We argued, explored, and found an understanding. We now pass that knowledge to you. If Jedi and Sith have found a way to work together, I want to know how. No one is more surprised than I am to be here in this moment. But I trust the will of the Force. We do not offer empty platitudes. We do not promise easy victory. All we ask is that you listen with an open mind, and learn from our failures. To forge the future, you must first break with the past. Victory over Arkan requires new perspectives, and new weapons. 
Follow the will of the Force into the wilderness beyond this camp. Find what we left for you, and meet us in the cave. I have a future, Valen. But you don't. Just the way I like it. I fought Arkin's sister. Phelan was right here. No. That was merely a warning. A vision. A bond to the Force as intense as yours brings with it powerful insight. Heed what you saw. Behind Arkan stands Phelan, and behind her, many others. They will all try to stop you. The weapon you wield was built for a different war. A different enemy. It no longer serves you. It must change, as you have. You want me to build a new lightsaber? You will create a pure extension of the Force's will. One you alone control. With it, you can unite a thousand stars. We offer to add our strength to yours, but you must be the guiding hand. Focus the power and decide what form it takes. I'm ready when you are. There's no defeat I can't overcome. But violence can only destroy. It doesn't inspire others to greatness, and it can never rebuild. Only a leader can do that. I once thought it enough to be the unstoppable force between my people and the enemy. I faced Valkurian and refused to bend. That choice broke me and doomed the worlds I sought to defend. I sent Jedi to fight an enemy I didn't understand because I believed in the justness of my cause. Those deaths still haunt me. We know what it means to fail those who counted on us. We would spare you that pain. It's better for me to learn from your mistakes, than repeat them. Your brief time as the Supreme Commander of Jedi Forces on Corellia tested you, and exposed your limitations. Leading this alliance is unlike anything you have done before. Directing the war effort is a mere fraction the burden you must bear. You must not only know when to fight, but when to retreat, or even to make peace with your foe. There is an oasis not far from this cave. Your final lesson waits there. You killed her children. She will devour you as revenge. What hope do you have to escape such raw fury? Escape isn't always possible. If you accept that death has power over you, it stops being your enemy and becomes an ally. When that happens, you don't have to fight.
You created peace from a violent confrontation. Impressive. Some believe you are destined to walk this path. Others think you make the choices that decide their fates. Your alliance will collapse if you do not know yourself and the ideal you serve. Do you understand? Whatever fate has in store for me and the Alliance, I'm ready. Your way is clear, and so is ours. Do you feel it, Mar? The Force draws us elsewhere. The exile of Odysseus is over. A new path has opened thanks to you. Our duty is to follow it. Nothing's more important than staying to help me defeat Arkan. Our time has passed. This is your war to fight. Trust in the path ahead. The Alliance awaits its commander. Farewell. <laughs>